Hello everyone. Today I'm going to interview an, an extraordinary woman who is a wife, senior position professional in the insurance industry, and entrepreneur with a beautiful business idea that supports men, men's health, mental health, and makes them beautiful inside out. My name is Katarina Archer. I am the co-creator of Conscious Business GFU platform. GFU stands for Global Institution for Evolving Women. And today I have here beautiful Karina Rodriguez Diaz, who I am going to interview. And let's go straight to the questions. Karina, first of all, thank you so much for being here with me. And thanks for inviting me, Katarina. Thank you so much. And I am really, I would love for you to share with us what inspired you you know what was that inspiring impulse that made you create your business um i think it was a combination of things um i have always traveled a lot for work and always wanted to bring a present to my husband peter and pretty much socks was the only things that could fit it in my luggage so he always loved the presents, um, but through time we started chatting about the socks not being quite there for you know what he wanted. So they were either lacking on quality or the style or the price, you know, tag wasn't quite well, quite, quite good. So we said, well, we start asking other men about it, and they felt as well that. Socks were either too traditional or have gone completely to the other extreme, as in too loud. And they, they continuously, when we did a lot of research, they continuously said, we want to feel elegant. We want to feel confident, but we want to feel elegant still, you know. We want to go to business meetings and feel good rather than just, you know, too much, too out loud. So um, we said, well, why don't we create our own? And, and at the same time, Peter and I were always talking about how can we be more engaged on helping others. Um, and, and, you know, that's pretty much how Don Soaps was created. It kind of click all beautiful. So, yeah, that's, that's what it was. Wonderful. I love, I love, the, I love, the, I love the story about Don Soaps. And uh, would you, can you share with us um, what is the purpose of a Don Soaps company? I know you have a purpose. It's more than just business profit. And that's why also I'm having this conversation with you because I see you as a conscious business. You, there is something more just to the profit. Would you share with us what is the, what is the purpose of your business? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You're, you're, you're spot on, um, Katerina. Don Sock's purpose is to help men to express themselves and their style, of course, through wearing, you know, stylish high quality socks but also we wanted to create a, a safe environment where men felt that it was okay to speak up to talk about how they really feel and to say i'm not okay i'm not feeling okay and without the fear of being judged or criticized or um i'm pretty sure you're aware you know the the, the men suffering from mental health issues in australia is very high and you know, part of the profits from Don Socks goes towards raising awareness of men's mental health. And, you know, like it's, it, it's been great. It goes along together. It, it kind of, we're on our infancy still, that's, that's for sure. But when we ask our customers, they continuously say, look, we feel really good when we wear Don Socks. You know, we feel elegant, we feel confident, but also they are conversation starters and that's what we wanted we always wanted that you know to talk about what are you wearing in your business meeting or with your friends but also how you feeling today you know are you okay um so that that's pretty much the purpose of it that's beautiful that's beautiful and i and i know that you love fashion and you are also helping really men be beautiful outside but also inside so inside out oh that's beautiful absolutely yes so um i would love to know as well you know now because i have also i'm also an interpreter and i know how much challenging it can be to be wife to be you know um full-time employed in an insurance industry and to be interpreter so i would love to know like how do you balance all of this and what did you learn from being an interpreter so far 
Um, look, it's been really challenging. I'm, I'm not going to say it's, it's an easy journey. Um, but I think what, I've, what I decided to do from the beginning is just to be truthful to who I am and what I want to be with this business. Um, I love my corporate career um, and I want to be more creative with this business and to help others. And I just, I, I, I just decided we're going to take it. I'm going to take it one step at a time, you know, just, I'm not looking right. I'm not looking left. I'm not looking at what others are doing. I'm just, you know, like, this is my mission. This is my purpose. And I'm going to go and do it at my own speed rather than just, um, you know, like trying to achieve something that completely defeats the purpose of doing this in the first place. No? Yeah. So just take it in easy, you know, yeah. Some days I go really well, some days I don't achieve as much. <laughs> um, but just, yeah, just enjoying the, the, the journey. That's, that's what I basically committed myself to do. Yeah. That's beautiful. I hear that you have it as a joy and as a self-expression and, 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 and something that you make difference to this world. And uh, you don't stress yourself when you have to take a step back or taking a break or, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. And, um, you know, there are many women in the corporate world and uh, maybe there are many that have this desire of start to create something, be more creative, start some business. Um, or maybe they never thought that actually it can be possible. Would, you, yeah. would, it, would it be something um, you would like to say to them, to inspire them or to share them ar around this on like starting their, their entrepreneurship own yeah um yeah. i would say it is possible and yet you're right you know traditionally either you go on to your corporate career or you become a business owner and an entrepreneur and those things kind of like don't mix together but i i would say it's possible just 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 try just give it a go um being a business owner like i i I've said you need to be very flexible and very resilient and move quick. And that's actually, that actually helped you on your corporate career as well. You know, like, yes, of course yeah. I do long hours yeah. and I do work really hard. It's not, it's not, it's not easy. Um, and being a business owner, you know, like, especially when we are that we just starting, if we don't work in the business, my husband and I, who is my partner in the business as well, well you know a lot of things don't don't get done okay so you, you still have to work hard but it, it teaches you how to be flexible and how to use resources in a different way it teaches you that it's okay to do things even if nothing is or, or things are not 100 percent perfect yet and that that's that's hard for me because i'm the i'm a little bit of the perfectionist type of person so if everything is not as per my standards then i don't move quickly onto things and, and, and as a business owner, you can do that. But it also, it doesn't help you in your corporate career. So it is a good mix. It, it teaches you how to, how to move around and how to, you know, like progress things in a different way. Um, and, and you're right, and how to be creative, you know, and how to express yourself. But I also think it, it will help in, in your corporate career because I've learned with Don Sobs that despite of how small we are, we are true to our purpose and our values. And even when there's certain brands, even commercial brands or, or personal brands, you know, social media influencers that now are approaching us to say, I wanna, like, I wanna promote your products or things. If we don't feel that that brand aligns with our purpose, our values, or what, what, who we want to be in the long run, then we just, say no and that and that that i think is important you know like for both business owners and you know like people that want to stay in corporate so yeah just give it a try it's not what's the worst thing that could happen it doesn't work that's it beautiful, beautiful. well i hear that if you really if your if your business is really aligned to your you know to your talents and to your passions and to what you believe in and you 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 keep you keep that um in a mind that it really brings you a lot of joy um that it, when it's coming from that love 
from right. the joy rather than just making business just because you want to make money. Then it's just right. completely different story. So that's what I hear. That is that's important to have it there. I think people feel people feel what you're doing and how what are you doing it and people like people it's not silly. They know if you just want to sell them something for the sake of selling them something or or if you're true to what you're saying you are, you know, and, and what you're doing and the way that you're doing it. So um, you know, like it just just yeah, just be who you are and give it a go. Yeah, be be, be who you are, be your best self, uh exactly. contribution to the world. And yeah, so thank you so much, Karina, to be here with me and share your beautiful story, um, your you. passion for mental health, for passion for creativity, passion, and uh, uh, for those who would like to look at this beautiful, gorgeous, elegant, um, <laughs> soft, You're too uh, kind. stylish socks, please uh, look at the link be uh, below and please feel free to contact Karina if you would like to know more about uh, her vision and the way she does um, this business. So thank you so much. And I wish you a beautiful day to everyone. Take Thanks, care. Thanks, Katarina. Thank Take you. Care. Bye. Bye.